Hey guys, Squatch Reloading here. Uh, we just finished up changing over our XL750. Uh, we did the caliber conversion on the shell plate. We addressed all the items on our case feed setup. And then we also installed a new tool holder. So in this video, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have to change our priming system from small primer to large primer as our 9mm, which the machine was just set up on, uses the small primers and our 10 millimeter uses the large. So stick around and we're going to get started. Okay, so the first step, uh, we're going to go ahead and remove our, our uh, weighted rod here and uh, we're going to uh, remove our low primer sensor and I'm just going to leave it attached and unthread it here. And then once we get that off, we're going to uh, work on removing this tube right here and putting the correct tube in. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and remove our, our op rod here. And uh, what I usually do is just kind of pull back on the uh, primer slide, that way I can free it up and I'm not bending it and just sliding it out like so. And then we're gonna set that aside. All right, so to remove the primer slide bar assembly, uh, what I like to do is, is go ahead and raise the ram up and I'm going to pull the uh, slide bar back and remove the spring from the back side of the slide bar. And at that point, I'm just going to let it hang. And then we're going to remove the thumb screws, or I should say thumb uh, fasteners here at the bottom of the assembly. So I'm going to pan you down so you can see up underneath. All right, so here's a, a look at the thumb nut assemblies and uh, I misspoke earlier they're not screws like you know on the old 550s it was a threaded uh, bolt that went all the way up through where these are you know a nut and a washer so we're going to remove both of those make sure that we're holding on to the body itself and then we're going to remove it um, what we want to do is make sure that we set these aside and don't lose the washers and then we're going to remove it just like so. Okay, so now that we have the body removed, uh, what we need to do is remove this primer magazine. And this one, you'll see, has a blue end on it. And we want to replace it uh, with the one with the red end because this is the one for the large primers. Now that we have the primer magazine out, if you look down into the body, and it's kind of hard to see here, you'll see that there's a, a hole and it's got a slot in it. And that slot corresponds with the slot on this magazine tube. So what we want to do is install the, plastic, the red plastic tip into the protective shroud first, and then we want to line up the chamfered edge, or the, I'm sorry, the, the uh, sleeve with the groove. Let me get it here so you can see it, just like so. And then we're good. Now we're going to remove the slide bar for our small primers. And we are going to install the other slide bar that comes with the press for our large primers. So we're just going to sit it into place for right now and then we're going to start uh, reassembling uh, the body first. Alright, so now we're going to install the uh, primer body uh, assembly back into position and I will say on the 750 a lot of guys are comparing uh, this particular priming system to the 550 while it's very similar. There's a lot of really nice subtle dis or differences like this uh, machined edge here to keep this phenolic plate uh, into position. Um, there's just a couple little details, you know, like the thumb, the thumb nuts are, are way better. And then at the base of your uh, primer body, I mean, it has these studs that come through, which is a really nice uh, feature. And I'm just sliding them into the holes just like so. And that is it. So now we just need to th uh, thread back on our thumb screws or our thumb nuts. I'll get this right, I promise. Um, so you want to put the washers on, don't forget that. And just kind of hold it in position. 
and we're just going to thread them up hand tight because we still need to adjust uh, the position of the primer cup in, in relation to the uh, shell plate to make sure we have good alignment there before we snug things up. So now that I got those just kind of hand tight, uh, we're going to keep on keeping on. Okay, now would be a good time to go ahead and get our spring put back on. And I like just to pull it out a little bit, make sure I get it uh, right there on the detent. And we are good to go. Still a little loose, but we're good to go. So now we can go ahead and drop down our shell holder and uh, check on our alignment. Okay, guys, so here's kind of the tricky part. Um, we want to make sure that our primer cup, and hopefully you guys can see that, is... Uh, lined up within our shell plate. So to do that, we need to bring the shell plate down and just kind of be aware that we still have plenty of movement here, but we want to go down slowly and make sure that the cup engages and we got lucky right out of the gate. So we've got very good alignment. I'm not feeling any catching uh, whatsoever. So what I like to do is go ahead and uh, keep my, my pressure forward on the on the handle and I'm going to go ahead and just finger tight the slide bar system and we should be good yep all right okay so now that we have our primer cup fully adjusted and again I'm just running back and forth to make sure I'm not catching anywhere we need to put our op rod back on so it's pretty simple we're just going to slide it up into the bracket as so and then I'm just going to manually pull back, or I need to raise the ram a little bit here, just enough where I can slide that to the side, pull it back, and then we're going to re-verify function. Going to make sure we get a full stroke forward and back several times to make sure that that primer cup is adjusted and it is working no issues. Okay, lastly, we just want to get our low primer sensor back on. We're just going to thread it back down, just like so. Just get it nice and snug. And uh, take a look up top and make sure that you're uh, aligned good into the primer magazine. Let me zoom you there. There you go. So just like I said, you want to make sure that you're all lined up right there. Okay, guys, as you can see, that wasn't too hateful. Uh, changing over from small to large primers on our Dillon XL 750. You know, when I kind of compare it to uh, my, my old 550s, um, it's actually a little bit easier uh, with the thumb nuts there at the bottom and the, uh, the body itself, you know, having those mounting studs. Um, that's, that's a great feature. Um, I definitely like it much better from going from large to small uh, than my uh, XL650. So uh, yeah, just another another good point for me uh, on the XL750. But uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, my email address is squatchreloading at gmail.com uh, or you can hit me up in the comments below. Also check me out over on Facebook and Instagram at squatchreloading. All these videos are on Utah Gun Exchange, Gun Streamer, and the Reloaders Network. Uh, so until next time, guys, God bless.